<laughs> All right, well, thanks. Go ahead, um, To keep it short and also very visual, what we have is a video that we created for the project, which kind of gives a summary, and then we can kind of talk about things later. But while Mahindra is doing that, for myself as a contemporary artist, that's, I, yeah, I'm very much a visual artist, but I happen to use computational technologies. And I'm really interested in collections. And with the British Library, what I wanted to do was look, the project's called Imaginary Cities, I wanted to get to the collections, use the digital urban maps that have been you know, digitized, and, and bring those into kind of the current digital age. So can we, so the, the idea really was to take um, the, the digital items. So the digital images and the associated metadata. But of course, all that stuff is coming from analog source. So it's there in a digital collection. I, as an artist, am coming in. I'm working with, with that live off of Flickr, um, pulling not only the image material, but also the metadata that surrounds it. So the things that are always changing. <coughs> Taking that, taking it through a sort of uh, a digital kind of computational remixing process. How did you pull it? Um, just live, where I'm, I'm working Manually? with. Manually? No, 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 no. Well, my my manual sort of like exploring the collection. Uses the My name's Michael Takeo Magruder. I'm a visual artist and researcher who works with information systems and technologies in the production of my artwork. My project with the British Library is called Imaginary Cities. It's an arts project that looks to take information and data from historic urban maps taken from the 18th and 19th century and use those as the exclusive source material to create these fantastical cities and urban scapes for the information age. The outputs that I had proposed for the project were things that would be physical forms. Much digital work remains digital and remains on the screen, and that's something that really doesn't interest me too much these days. For me, as an artist, I think about creating things that can exist in a physical space that are tangible objects. And for me, this was also a nice way to hark back to the history of maps as being these precious, singular items and things. So of course, in terms of looking at what I might produce and what I ended up proposing, it was things like digital prints, using laser etching systems, 3D printing systems to create physical things, and then even maybe experimenting with combining technologies, taking, say, the latest generation of digital print systems, but merging those with old technologies and old techniques like gold and silver gilding, bringing the analog and the digital together. In terms of the parts of the project, the outputs that would remain digital, for that line of work, I propose to look at sort of the leading edge of what is possible in terms of consumer, prosumer, virtual reality systems. So developing these procedurally created cities that would exist in three dimensions over time using various games engines and in terms of the display systems, multi-screen projection and VR headsets like the Oculus Rift. So to take these old plans, these old city maps, and then rework them algorithmically and make them into not just 2D plans, but experiential 3D environments. There were quite a number of challenges that I first had to overcome working with the Flickr 1 million images from Scanbooks collection. The first of which, which was quite significant, was actually identifying the, the assets that I wanted to use, good quality maps, relevant maps, the way that you actually can use Flickr's API to search through the collection. It's not straightforward. But working with Mahendra and his team, we eventually found um, the right methodologies for us to extract these high quality maps of major European and North American cities. And from that, we were able to reduce the 1 million to about 2,000. And at that point, I just did a manual sifting in the end. Over the course of the project, 
I brought in two collaborators to help me realize some of the work that I needed to do. The first person, he's someone I've worked with many times, David Steele, a software architect and engineer based in the US. With David, I look to explore this idea of taking the singular curated images from the collection and then transform them in different ways every day. So this idea of taking the singular and creating a, an endless set of iterations of artistic creations based on that single image. And that would change every day according to two variables, the first being the progression of time and the second being the interaction of the public with that image in the collection. Another colleague, Drew Baker, who is based in Australia at present, but he's a leading humanities scholar and researcher that does digital archaeology and virtual reconstructions of heritage sites. And what Drew and I did was take the static 2D plans that David's server application was generating each day and take those 2D assets and extrude them into three dimensions in a real-time virtual game environment. So this idea of taking the map and creating a real city from it. As the project developed, I was approached by Mila Escrova, the director of Gazelli Art House, and invited to showcase the Imaginary City's work. First, I was their resident artist on Gazellio, the gallery's online platform for experimental digital art, where I published visual studies and ideas over a month-long period. We then organized a sharing and discussion event at their London Mayfair Gallery and presented the various physical prototypes and virtual experiments to colleagues from across arts, culture, and academia. And now, as we're developing this work, our aspiration is to bring it back to the British Library and hopefully exhibit it here sometime in the near future. So um, this kind of long journey, uh, which has been a very rewarding one, uh, hopefully for you, your team, yourself and your team, as for myself as an artist, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of all coming to fruition. So I think I'll leave it there, because we're already really running over. Thanks very much.